Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Darkness Falls. It is the morning of day two. The first thing I want to do this morning is spend some skill points. We have seven of them. So I'm going to go tool crafting, weapon crafting, lock picking, the survivor, two points into pack mule, and better barter. Now something I noticed last night, this panel behind us breaks away. And there's a suitcase right here we can search. Take that stuff. Let's hop down here, deactivate this land claim block, and we missed some loot in here. We missed the kitchen and the bathrooms. So let's do that. There's another back room right here also. Let's start back here. We'll grab all the loot we missed, and then we're going to head for the trader. All right, let's do the bathrooms now. Murky water. More murky water. Some lead. More lead. And duct tape, that's good. Let's check this drop ceiling real quick. Ooh, weapons bag. Nice. Are those machine gun parts? Those might be rifle parts, because they look different. And some 9mm ammo. Let's do this bathroom, and then there's some cobblestone in the um, room with the ladder that leads up to the roof. We'll grab that, and then we'll get out of here. Alright, let's go. We're going to head east towards the trader. Still hear a bunch of zombies around here, but we're going to keep it moving. I need to grab some grass fibers here because I want to recraft the stone axe, the shovel, and I'm going to get rid of the spear and craft a stone sledgehammer. I don't know why I didn't do that in day one. Totally skipped my mind. I made the spear instead. Uh, so let's do that right now. I also want to make another wooden club because all of these are going to be better um, since we put points into tool crafting and weapon crafting. So we got the axe, let's do the wooden club. Now let's do the sledgehammer. And let's make a new shovel as well. And the trader's doors are open, they're always open, which is nice. You know, because they never close and kick you out. Because like I said in the first video, you could live here if you wanted to. Now I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff off into this storage chest. Basically everything, except for what I'm going to need. And then we're going to go find a place to call home. That's what we need to do, a place to put all of our stuff. And uh, it hopefully won't be too far away from here. And then we'll come back later and grab all this shit and then bring it home. But uh, we certainly can't go find a place to live with a full backpack. All right, that's good. Now, the question is, where do we go? There's a building over there. That's not too far away. There's, of course, this uh, skyscraper here, which I'm sure there's a city over there. But I think the safe bet is to head east where we spawned in from. Oh, look, there's a couple of buildings over here. Let's see what those are, because these are really close to the trader, and that might not be a bad idea. Looks like we got a cabin. And then, I don't know what the hell that place is. It's like a fortress. But look at this, we got a city back there that seems to stretch pretty far. There's the Dishong Tower. And then we got all these buildings over here, then of course the skyscraper, the trader is right here. So this might actually be a really good centralized place to live. And how hard could it be to clear out this cabin? You know? So that's what we'll do. We'll clear the cabin of zombies, we'll loot it, put down some storage, drop a bunch of shit off here, and then go back to the uh, trader, get the rest of our loot, bring it back here, and we'll be nice and set. Oh shit. We set off this car alarm. Uh, alright. Shut up, car. This is not good. I was just gonna say, there are like no zombies around. How lucky is that? Now, this is probably going to change things. Alright, it's shut up. I want to take these cars apart anyway. I don't like things that explode this close to where I'm going to live. Alright, looks like this is the way to get in this place. Let me make a storage chest real quick that we can put down once we get a little bit further inside here. Got a zombie right here. Let's wake her up. What's up, girl? 
<laughs> oh, that's it for you. Jesus. Uh, oh, we got a working workbench right here and a crawler. That's sweet. Dude, we got a workbench in our house already. Some brass. Maybe we should put this storage chest down right near the workbench. Right? That's a pretty good place for it. There we go. Let's push through now and clear this place out of zombies before we start looting it. Oh, got one under the stairs. Oh, shotgun messiah crate. Let's search this ammo pile real quick. 9mm, that's good. In case we have to bust out the pistol. I'm hearing what sounds like zombies walking around outside, so... Let me just check. I don't, I don't want any zombies coming in behind us. That won't be good. Uh, let's, let's walk the perimeter of the house. Yeah, it sounds like there's one right around here, and there is. Alright, let's head upstairs now. These stairs right here are going to have to get knocked out later. It's a pretty dope cabin. But yeah, until we can close off the basement, we want to knock out the stairs leading down into the basement. This way, if zombies come wandering into the basement at night, uh, they can't get up to us. You know? Oh, shit. Fucking cheerleaders. They hunt in packs. Uh, we better heal up. We're bleeding out. Rotten flesh. It sounds like we got another zombie approaching. I hope no zombies drop down on our heads from up there. Whoops. It's a little weird that when you break open a locked door, it becomes a full door again, just unlocked. I mean, it's cool because then you don't have to put in another door. You know what I mean? You can just bust open a locked door, then you have another door in place that's unlocked, and you can upgrade it and use it or whatever, but... It's still kind of weird. Throws me off a little bit. Alright. It's pretty quiet, which is good. And it uh, looks like we're clear up here. Alright. Let's uh, open this door here. I think this is the last locked door in the cabin. And this should lead out to uh, a little balcony area. Grab these chairs. Might as well start cleaning up and looting. And then once we're done doing that, we'll head over to the, uh, or head back to the, uh, trader, grab all of the loot we left over there. Whoops. <laughs> I keep forgetting the axe does not upgrade things anymore. Uh, but yeah, we'll grab all of our loot from the trader. We'll come back here. We'll get it all put down into storage. And then we should have some time left over to check out whatever the hell this building is that we're living right next to. Now, on top of the steps leading down to the basement that we need to knock out, there are also steps outside leading up to the level we're on right now. So we're going to need to knock those steps out as well, because the last thing we want to happen is this place get overrun with zombies during the night, and if they can get up to where we are, we're going to be in trouble. We saw last night just how many zombies come out at night, and uh, it could be a big problem. If we've got radiated zombies inside the cabin... You know, we need to be able to defend ourselves. What the hell is this? Flour. Okay. I'm sure we use that for baking or whatever. We'll look into that later. For now, let's uh, finish cleaning up and looting. We'll get down into the basement. I'm not going to worry about knocking the steps out now. It's still fairly early. I want to get over to the trader and get our loot from over there. And, uh, like I said, I want to check out what's going on next door. Big, giant, fucking concrete building. Who knows, maybe we can use that as our base. That wouldn't be a bad thing, right? If our home was right next door to our base. Got zombies coming up this way. See? These steps, we gotta knock those out. This guy's already damaged. Oh, and now he doesn't have a head. And she just dropped dead. She must have saw me and was like, fuck it. We can't win that fight. You know, you gotta stay, hey, you gotta stay cocky, even in Darkness Falls. I know this mod is a lot harder than vanilla, but I'm going to play it basically the same way. Find a place to call home, make a base, 
and just kind of take it, ooh, day by day. Damn it, big mama. You know, I've had so many people reach out to me and try to give me all the advice and everything I need to know about this mod, and I appreciate certain things, like someone let me know you can craft a watch in this mod, so you can always tell what time it is. That's great knowledge to have. I'm thankful for that. But other people have sent me literally paragraphs on what to do step by step and all these things I need to do. It's like, dude, I'm playing the game, not you. If you know every single thing to do, then make your own video. You know what I'm saying? That's not how I play this game. I'm not trying to fucking play this shit by the rules and do everything perfect. Fucking bird, look at you. Oh, he's under here. Oh, smash, bitch. You know, I'm just trying to have fun, make it entertaining, live as long as I can, and uh, make it exciting, too. I'm not trying to do everything perfect. I'm not perfect, and I never will be, so uh, there it is. We got a wheel. I forgot you can get wheels now from tires in this mod, which is great. Missed that from, uh, what was it, Alpha 16, right? They removed that in Alpha 17, where you just get plastic parts from wheels now, which is uh, makes more sense, but also kind of lame. I remember back in Alpha 15, you used to get shit tons of tires and then sell them all to the trader. You make some good money that way. But see, we're going to need concrete to repair these blocks, or we're going to have to knock them out and put in new ones. Either way, we're not going to be able to do this today. Probably not in the next few days to come. So, during the night, yes, we probably will get zombies wander into this basement. So that's why, like I was saying earlier, we need to knock the steps out leading up to the first floor. Oh, another thing, too, I wanted to mention is in the uh, last video, I said the textures on the crate boxes, like the uh, the Shaka Messiah crate, the Working Stiff Tools, etc. The textures were off, and I didn't know why. So someone said that I should turn off texture streaming, and that would fix it, and it did. I don't know exactly what texture streaming is. It's something about it stores the textures in your RAM or some shit. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not a technical guy. But as you can see, the Shotgun Messiah crate, uh, the texture is completely there. It's not blurry like it was in the first episode. Now, I've had texture streaming on, apparently, and it hasn't ha caused me any problems or anything. But for one reason or another, it does in this mod. So turning it off uh, fixed that problem for me. Got a zombie beating on something. I think it's actually in the house. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here, you son of a bitch? It's my house now. Got a guy down here. It says he's a survivor. Now, apparently there are survivors and bandits, and only the bandits attack you for no reason. You're not going to attack me, buddy, are you? Because I got a fucking gun and you have a bat. Yeah, so apparently survivors don't attack you unless you attack them first, but bandits will attack you on sight. So you just gotta make sure you know which one is which. Alright, let's knock these steps out here, and then we'll go check out our neighbor and see what the hell's going on over there. I mean, it's a completely reinforced concrete building, so my hope is that we can easily turn that place into a horde base. Because that would be pretty damn convenient to have our base right next door to our house, so hopefully we can make that happen. Well, we got iron bars on the windows. So if I had to guess, this is uh, some sort of jail or prison. And we got the prison bus out front. It's got to be what it is. Let's uh, loot this thing real quick. Some cloth. Yeah, the county jail. How do you like that? Oh, got a snake. Well, let's deal with this guy. And then I guess we'll break into jail. Ah, finally. Making me look like an idiot out here. Just pounding the pavement with my sledgehammer. Who the fuck was having a barbecue out in front of the jail? 
That's something a degenerate sheriff would do. Do we know any degenerate sheriffs? Can't think of any off the top of my head. I'm gonna take apart this bus, even though it's 2,500 hit points, it might take us a minute. But look at all the good stuff we're getting from it. Alright, here we go. I'm a little nervous. I've never been to jail before. But what I heard was, you find the biggest guy, give him a good old rub and tug, and then he'll protect you. Alright, let's close that door. Now, this door is locked with a hell of a lot of hit points, so we're kind of stuck in this main lobby room right here, unless maybe we wake up that soldier, let him do all the heavy lifting for us. I doubt he's going to go for the door, though. He's probably going to just beat through the concrete because that would have less hit points. I doubt there's anything behind these paintings, but we might as well check. Got a backpack right here. And these are bookcases. Strangest bookcases I've ever seen. I don't know why the front is painted with, like, concrete slab, but whatever. Let's harvest this body. And we might as well check behind these paintings as well. Nothing. Now look at this platform right here. What if we extended this around the entire lobby here, and then we just stand up there, put spikes down on the floor, open the front door, and let the zombies come on in, and we just hold down this room for the Night 7 Horde. That's simple enough, and I think it would work. I mean, I know the, the Hordes are supposed to be a lot crazier here in Darkness Falls, but come on. If the Day 7 Horde takes down a building made entirely of reinforced concrete, then honestly, what kind of chance do we stand anyway, you know? So that's the plan for right now, in my mind anyway. We'll use this place to hold down the Day 7 Horde and see how it does. Now, we are going to be doing a lot more exploring in the days to come. I mean, it's only Day 2. Definitely going to head out and do a lot more exploring tomorrow, checking out some new POIs and shit. So if we happen to find a place that I feel would make a better base than this, then, uh, you know, we'll make that decision when the time comes. But as of right now, this guy's about to break through. Oh shit, we got a running football player too. Oh, he broke through. And that guy's a runner. Oh, he's not dead yet. Uh, okay. Let's go out the front door. Close it while we reload. At least we're clear out here. That's good. Where's this football player at? Here we go. Let's see if we can nail him. Oh, shit. Oh, he's not dead yet. Let's go back inside. Close the door. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. That worked out. Let me see your loot bag. What do you got? Football helmet. That makes sense. So long, soldier. Let's finish him off with the sledgehammer. And we got some zombies approaching. So yeah, that's the plan as of now. We're going to use the county jail to hold down the Night 7 Horde, unless I happen to find a place that I feel is better than this. But that's hard to imagine. I mean, look at this place. It's all reinforced concrete. How could we go wrong? They're not going to take this place down. At least I don't think they are. We got a survivor. Is he in the jail? Uh, no, he must be outside the jail, right? There wouldn't be a survivor in jail, would there be? There's someone in this cell right here, but I can't see who it is, and all these doors are locked. Let's go outside. See what's going on over here. There he is. What are you doing, dude? He's trying to attack the uh, zombie in the jail cell. Oh, now he's pissed. Get the gun. Oh, he dropped the loot bag. I didn't know survivors can drop loot bags. Oh, shit. And it's good loot, too. Fuck, I'm going to start killing the survivors I find if they're going to drop good loot. Oh, hey, it's Mo in here. Well, Mo, I got good news and bad news. Good news is you're getting out of jail today. Bad news is, I'm kidding, I'm here to murder you. Yeah, so I'm thinking we just get up here, craft a bunch of plates, extend this walkway around the room, we can upgrade the plates at least to cobblestone, and then we can just kind of circle around the room shooting down at them. We can put a bunch of spikes down there, and that should work out fine for the Night 7 Horde. I hope, anyway. 
So that's the plan. Like I said, unless we happen to find something better. I'd like to get in this room right here. But to do that, we gotta break through a couple of concrete blocks and those iron bars. Ooh, that has 5,000 hit points. We need some better tools to properly raid this jail. Oh, shit. This is gonna be fun. Alright, I'm not sure how late it is, but probably best we get inside and unload and- Oh shit, we need to knock these stairs out too. We better do that now. There's the campfire. We'll cook some food and boil some water tonight. I'd like to eat something now real fast, because zombies are beating on my house. I need to go deal with them, but our stamina is weighed down. That- Gives you a little bit of food poisoning now. You gotta be careful. Oh, this got zero food poisoning. The chicken ration. Alright, let's eat a couple of those. Maybe we'll drink a coffee too. That should hold us over. Let's go do some murdering. Oh shit, another radiated zombie. This is gonna be just loads of fun, isn't it? At least she's alone. I, I hope uh, this cabin holds up, man. I really do. Ooh, another radiated dude. This is gonna be insane. Oh, damn. Fucked her up. Alright, let's harvest a little stone while we're out here. While we still got some daylight. And while it's quiet right now. We still have to get inside and knock the steps out leading down to the basement before nightfall. This way, you know, at least if zombies do overrun the cabin tonight, they can't get up to where we are. So they might fuck our cabin up pretty good, but at least they won't kill us. Fingers crossed, anyway. Alright, let's do some cooking. We could make, uh, what, just one thing of bacon and eggs. So, let's do it. Okay, boiled meat can make three, make a couple of boiled eggs, and then uh, let's boil all this water here. Alright, I guess let's eat these bacon and eggs because our stamina is still pretty drained and oh sweet, 0% food poisoning. Hell yeah. That should do us well. Now, it's getting pretty late. Oh, there's some radiated zombies about. Maybe we should uh, board up some of these windows. I don't know how much of a difference that makes. You know, it would make sense if boarding up the windows reduces the amount of noise that we make and also uh, reduces the amount of light that shows through. So I would think boarding up windows would uh, attract the zombies less. But I don't know. That's just me being logical. Don't know if that's how it really works. Let's uh, knock this backpack out. Put in a frame. And, uh, what the hell, we might as well board up a couple of windows. Just want to get rid of some of this junk also. Let's board them up from the outside. Why destroy those planks if we don't have to? Uh-oh. We might be making too much noise doing this shit. Ah, oh, well, that's not good. There's another one down there. Let's make steps real quick with these frames. Hop down, see if we can use the sledgehammer. Here we go. Ah, beautiful. This way we don't continue making a bunch of noise with the pistol. Sounds quiet now. Let's get inside. Try not to be too loud. Alright, I guess I'm going to end this episode here. Still have some food cooking and I'm going to go through our inventory tonight and see if there's anything we might want to sell to the trader. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day three. Now, if zombies do attack tonight and some shit goes down, I will definitely include that in this video. 
Otherwise, like I said, I am going to end it here. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Darkness Falls and more Ghost Town, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>